Hey, Heather from Hooked on Picking. Me and the bobblehead cat are here. We're going to do some auction unboxing, and we're going to find all sorts of fun things. And uh, He is kind of cool. He is kind of cool. But why does he have a candle? So we Sometimes you got to have the cat light the way, you know? The cat light the way. There you go. That's the reason why. All right, let's go ahead and unbox all this fun stuff. All right, so we're going to unbox all of these auction finds. Kelly's going to help me, too. And um, these are from Dad, and he goes to various different auctions, and we find some things. And what we started doing is putting all of the auction items right on HookedOnPickin.com. If you go to HookedOnPickin.com, to the auction section, there should be a link directly to the auction page right down in the description below. You can go straight there and actually start bidding. Uh, the bonus for that is you don't have to wait for a response from us. You can just start bidding on those items. All bids close at 11 o'clock. Friday, 11 o'clock Central Standard Time, Friday morning, and that is an hour before the regular auction starts, and so that we know what sold and what didn't, and then we offer whatever didn't sell on the regular auction that we do every Friday. All right, so let's go ahead and get to unboxing and find out all the goodies that we see. All right, so we've got... I'm not quite sure. Is this a... Uh, <clears throat> do you know what it is? This is a kid correction no. device. No. <laughs> No, that would that would be abuse. That would, that would be, be abuse. abuse. Yes, what is it? Uh, that is a uh, rug beater. Oh, like back in the old yeah. timey days, beat all the dirt out of the rug. Good to know. Beat your rugs, not your kids. Yep, yep. <laughs> beat, beat your rugs, not your kids, please. Thank you. All right, it's a bag of bracelets. Bag of bracelets. Ooh, I like that jeweled one. That's kind of kind of yep. cool. Oh, what is that? Campaign speech. JFK fact. This is a JFK Peace Corps. Half dollar. Uh -huh. 2010 Kennedy half dollar. There you go. Nice little what card that goes this? with it. This is Silver Mercury Dimes. Ooh. The legend of the Silver Mercury Dimes. It's all the correct years to go through, too. That's a nice little set that there. Is. It's got all the certificate of authenticity. Nice. Then it looks like silver plate tray. Got that there. People went nuts for this last time yes, we had some did. things. And we've got some... Silver plate tea kettle. Ooh, see that's... if you've got a set there. Do you have a okay. set by chance? Let's see. This one's pretty Some ornate. Some of these might be mix matched. This one's kind of ornate. We're trying to see if they, we have a full set. See if you can match a pattern. Sometimes it's a pattern or what's written on the bottom of a of it there. Yeah, this one has like the... These, I think, go together. Is yeah, there these a look sugar? very similar to go together. That's a creamer cup. Is there a sugar cup? And this is the, what is it? International Silver something. I feel like this one and this one match. Mm. I think these are the same. It's like a short one. Well, they one. are. One's coffee, one's tea, maybe? Maybe. Like, that looks like a teapot right there, right? Yeah. I know this because of Beauty and the Beast. That's the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which one looks like Mrs. Potts? That one there. That one there looks like Mrs. Potts. So right? is this the sugar bowl? Probably. It looks really big. They really like their sugar. Oh, yeah. See? Look. There you that. go. Boom. So is this my a whole sugar bowl? <laughs> That's my kind of sugar bowl, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Does this match this? What do you think, Kelly? Does think this stuff so. match? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe that just maybe goes not. With this one. Yeah, that one there. This one here looks older. That looks the same hue as that one. Yeah. Patina. Yes, it does. Yeah. I wonder, does this have anything written on the bottom here? Uh, I'm not seeing anything there. I think these are just... Hmm. Neat pieces, though. Right. Is it a lid? It could be a lid. It might be. Oh, maybe it is. Kind of looks like that should go that way. All right. We don't know. We're not fancy peoples. <laughs> fancy peoples. We don't even own any of this kind of stuff, do we? Yep. Maybe. So we basically have this set. I would say this is a set where you got the tall, the short, the sugar, the creamer. And then, would you say the butter dish matches? I don't think so. Okay, so it's these four, probably. Then maybe those two pieces there. And then these two go together. So we'll keep those as sets, maybe. So it's like and a... then these look like <clears throat> this little pattern goes with those plates, I think. Bunch of, bunch of silver-plated stuff. 
And then we have an angel. An angel. So brass and copper. Currently holding a, a nail. Is that a nail? Or is that just how they kept their hands together? Don't know. Might have been where it was supposed to have a candle oh, it, or something. Oh, it like unscrews. So maybe you attach something there. Maybe, yeah. Okay. That's a cute little angel, actually. I bet you this piece here was supposed to go with it. Let's see. Oh, it's broken. to hold a... Uh... Hold a candle. Yeah, that's yeah. what happened there. Okay. She's broke. Candlesticks. There we go. This is paper doll clothes. Paper. Somebody's going to go nuts for that. I totally played with paper dolls when I was a kid. But those look older than when you were a kid. Oh, absolutely. These Don't are they? like 50s, yeah. Yep. All right. Then we got a little brass plate, little cup, and then... Boy, that cup looks old. Can I see that cup? Mm-hmm. This is a salt and pepper shaker. And then here's another fruity trivet. I think there's something on there. Is there? You can see it. Read it. There's some writing Rogers, I think. W.M. Rogers? Probably. Neat. And then we have this fruity trivet. Fruity trivet. Fruity trivet. It's a wreath. It is a wreath. It is a wreath. Perfect for the holidays coming up. Right, Here we go. go. All right. We got all that fun stuff. We're like, what, 100, and, 100 days till Christmas, something like oh, that? Here's a tray. We don't have the dish that goes in it, but all right. Some photo albums. This is where people put pictures that you print. People used to print pictures back in the day. I don't understand. Yeah, I know. It's a... Weird concept now. They had to print them to even see what they took. Yeah, what? <clears throat> While well, all the fingers are in front of the lenses. <laughs> I don't think our kids will probably ever have an actual physical copy of anything, will they? Probably not. It'll oh. all be digital. This is a giant teapot. It's aluminum. Ooh. Don't look inside. It's very dirty. Well, it's, it's a decor piece now. Yes. And look what we got in there. Lots of silverware and flatware. Now, crazy enough about it... Um, one of these could be sterling piece, which would be worth a good chunk of change. You have to look right there down on the handles and see. I can't get it to focus, but... Let me see. What's that one say? This one says community plate. So that one's silver plate. Mm -hmm. That one says Tudor plate. And if you find anything that are very ornate, people make jewelry Tudor out plate. of them. Yeah, like with the, like these kind of handles. Yes. They'll make a ring or a bracelet or a pendant. This one is... I've seen a lot of rings made This one is plate. This one's kind of a fancy. Mm-hmm. This one's probably plate, too. Dude, this one's W.M. Rogers. Oh, there's a random cup. All right. Nifty. That's so mold. We'll, we'll display mold. some of those. All right, what's in this tote? M&M's in a hot rod. That's cool. What is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm reading the back of this car. Here, zoom in and just read this. In the event of a product, product jam, jam, please shake gently. Okay. <laughs> that was not gently. So, I guess you put some sort of candy it, in does there? Does it feed M&M's to you? Probably M&M's. Probably. I don't know how it works, though. Kelly will figure it out. Maybe. Hmm. It says, in the event of a jam, please shake gently. I don't know. Where, where does the M&M's come out? It's got to be somewhere, right? Looks like the back has compartments. Yeah, it looks like here. Huh, maybe when you put batteries in it, that would open? Well, everybody needs one. Everybody needs one. And we only have one. I think so. it's really cute, actually. I would just sit it on a shelf. Ooh. There's an ornate old box. What does it say? Mm. Um, Oren. It's hard to read what it's supposed to say. Let's see if I can get it to shine here real quick here. Huh. Something. I see something written there. It's clever. All right. Open at your own risk, Heather. Okay. I'm ready. This looks old, man. Oh, oh my. These are stone. Um, stone eggs. Hold probably... on a second. I'm going to grab the chair so I can get closer. Okay. 
Bank of Indonesia. Bank of Indonesia. We got 10, whatever that is. I wonder if it has a year, 1964. Got some thimbles. Look at this thimble. It's a I think bell. you just found somebody's little trinket box. Yeah. From the 60s. There's a beaver in here. Thank you, Heather. You're welcome. Need I, some, I see money. Need bobby pins? There's lots of these eggs. Definitely got weight to them there. Yeah. Good decorative eggs. Yeah. There is money in here. Um, Casino St. Charles. <laughs> That's very important to have. It is. I wonder how much it's worth. Funland Arcade. Games people play. It's mm. like a tie clip. This one has a little lamp on it. Any other treasures you see in there? Little animals. Tons of little thimbles. What is this? Does it go this way? Oh, it's a mouse. That's See? from Pinocchio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a little truck. These are all like oh. little pendants. What's that other pendant there this with the coin? Here. The coin pendant there underneath. These are bears. Underneath that, this the golden or brass uh, thing. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Some, some kind of piece metal. Hmm. Lewis and Clark, St. Charles, Missouri. Okay. Here's some more pendants. Some kind of celebration of 1804 to 1989. There's just a ton of thimbles in here. This is probably Thomas Jefferson. Dinner. Meat. These look like 925. They look sterling. Are they? They're not marked. I think on the inside they are. That here looks like it's marked. Let me see. Yeah, it says sterling. <clears throat> there you go. Yep. So a little bit of sterling some. silver in there. Nice. This one is sterling too. So all of these little pendants are sterling. Bunch of the little random coins. Yep. Clever little box. Yeah. We'll probably keep most of them in the box and let somebody have fun going through it. Yeah. Might separate a few pieces, but... Well, I think with the sterling, these guys should all be separated. Okay. Because people want the individual. Maybe the eggs will pull out. But we'll take a picture of the inside of the box so you know exactly yeah. what you're getting. Um, just look on the hookedonpickin.com website in the, under the auction section, and you'll be able to find that. Somebody's going to like the box, too. We'll leave these separate. Just set those down there separately, because okay. those are all sterling. What else we got in here? Ooh. A bunch of buttons. That's a, that's a knife there. There's a letter opener for you. What's it say? Hold on. Frost cutlery. That's a cool one. Nice knife. And you're right about this. Look at Look, this. There's bare feet on it. Oh, that's neat. That's a cool letter opener here. Brass. Mm -hmm. Doesn't see anything on it, but cool eagle. Neat. What is this? Looks like a knife. That is a cool looking knife. Is it an Indian knife? Like an no, Indian motorcycle? A... Oh yeah, Indian motorcycle. I thought you were... Does it say anything on the handles where it would say? Uh, no. Just no. a stainless. Okay. That's clever. Somebody's gonna like it. I gotta figure out how to get it closed. I'm chopping my finger. Right? Yeah. Preferably. Yeah. <laughs> Handcuffs, Paul? Handcuffs? We do not have the key. That's that's a problem. Yeah, another knife. Oh, it is another knife. And then all these buttons. From what I can tell, they're mostly bands. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I see Led Zeppelin. That's Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, we'll see. Somebody's gonna like it. They look old. All right, so I looked at that. <gasps> another bowl box. Another wooden box. Treasures. Treasures. We like treasure boxes. This one opens this way. The Ooh. other curve is just a nifty box. It's empty, but there it is. There it's the the Globe Warnicky Company from Cincinnati. 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 <laughs> it says Globe on the front too. It does. Probably a three thousand dollar box. Probably. It's the last one they ever made. 
spoons. There you go, Ernest. <laughs> There's a couple of other people. Ernest loves her spoons. Here is. I thought this was broke, but it's not. It's actually the cutout for the spoon. For the spoon? It's a mm. weird spoon. It's like egg shaped. It's a fancy dish. Fancy dish. It's probably what we're supposed to use. And then we have this. I think they go together. I think. Sugar and creamer? Yeah. Maybe? I think you're probably right. It looks like a sugar creamer set. Unless that one is the sugar bowl. Whatever is the like biggest that... bowl should be sugar bowl. This is the sugar bowl. <laughs> there, there is the proper sugar <laughs> bowl. You're correct. What's in the, sh the giant sugar bowl? Um. Bunch of rocks. You want to dig in there? What's yeah. in there? Careful, something could bite you. What is up with this stone? Why would somebody keep this stone? All right, somebody. This is probably a special stone. That rocks. Thank you, Heather. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. This looks like... It's some kind of fishing tag. Is that a fossil? What is that? There's something in this stone. Hmm. Basket it's trap or turtle trap. Yeah. Clever. This is, this is a buckeye. Because there's seed is in there. I say we just keep everything right back in here and sell it with all of its contents. Sounds good. Along with those cool stones. Sugar not included. Sugar, Sugar not, not included. included. There you go. Can we move this over? Sorry. We're going to move this down. So all the done stuff. Yeah. What all else right. we got there? I found your marbles if you lost them. A jar of some marbles. Yep. Not completely full, but it's cool. Sifter. There we go. We got an old timey metal car wall hanging. We could probably sell these together. Got a set there. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Those are nice. Nifty. Cast iron. Oh, here's the third one. Ooh. Got a set of three. And this is a... Another kind of wall hanging. That'll probably be separate, though. A little different. Yeah. Another. Another treasure box. Treasure box. So many treasure boxes. Ooh. Oh. These are Chinese. Look at Fancy. Listen, they... They make noises? Oh, they do make noises. Now looks they like, do looks have like a little bit. Yeah, they've had some wear to them. But kind of clever. Yeah. They're cool painted. They are neat. Somebody's going to like them. What did Kelly find? A bowl. A bowl. A bowl. What's it say on the bottom of the bowl? Is it Fire King, potentially? Glass bake, sunbeam. Sunbeam. Glass bake, sunbeam. Beautiful. We got some more wall hangings. Those should go with that other piece. Yes. The little horn one. Yep. That was a... Uh, Set. Yep. Right that looks beautiful. This is a really cool... This I one like says, that. made in Germany. Oh, wow. That is a pretty design. Really nice. Really neat, huh? Was that Amy leaving? Yes, so Amy's Riley's gone. coming out. To awesome. Go. Okay, I think that's it. Is there then... something else in there? No. Just some random buttons. Just buttons. Some random buttons. Okay, we're good. Hey, give yourself a hand. Or oh, two. look at there. These are like to display jewelry, jewelry and such. <laughs> cool. I feel like I want to break them and make them clap. Do you want to tell her that she can come back in just in case somebody I comes in? I think she's shutting the door. Oh, is she? Okay. Yeah, but we can double check, make sure. Oh. All right. Oh, that's a cool What tray we got kit. here? Tray. See? It's a Lynn. I like it. I like the hen. Mom, mom just posted. Just walked in her house, so she's home. Awesome. Welcome home, mom. It's been a long time in the hospital. Hong Kong. Neat. That's clever. Someone's gonna like that. 
Moreno glassware. It's like a little trinket tray for like your earrings or rings or something. Isn't that clever? Cool. So what is it? Moreno What's... glassware, it says. So that could be expensive. Made in Italy. Nice, Heather. That's a nice piece. Pretty. Coca-Cola. Santa Claus. Looks like we have... We've got a year on this guy. Let's see. There's got to be a year somewhere on this. Don't see it. The other Coca-Cola. With the box. Mm -hmm. Look at this tray. Oh, wow. Boy, that is pretty, isn't it? Same thing on the bottom. Oh, that is pretty, pretty tray. Terrifying to ship that thing, but hey. Yeah. This, I think it's like a doorstop because it's super heavy. Super heavy? Oh, yeah, that I is. I think it might be stone. Painted stone. Because you know what? I think you're right. It's not wood. It's so, well, it's so cold, too. It's not a resin. Yeah. I think you're right. I think that's stone. Painted some kind of carved stone. Might have been a resin, but doesn't quite feel like it. Handcrafted wheel lock. Nippon. N-I-P-P-O-N is the maker. Look at that. That's super intricate. This is just a pitcher? Water yeah, pitcher? I think so. It's very delicate, though. Yes, it is. Neat. Alright, and then we're, we're kind of going through this flat now. This one's a hole punch. A uh, little metal bank. No money. Always got to check it for money. There's a nutcracker for you. There you go. Oh, it's Raggedy Ann and Andy. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I watched cool. that when I was a kid. I had a Raggedy Ann doll. What's it say here? It'd it's probably be worth millions now. Yeah. 1941. Wow. Well, it's copyright 1941, so I don't know if it is 1941 or is it just... That's when Raggedy Ann came about. Yeah. All right, then we have... Our... These are Longa Burger. There's a cute pink one. I've not seen a pink Longa Burger. That's neat. This one says, congratulations. This one is also a Longa Burger, but this one's the kind you can hang on your wall. Nice. Then we have a thermometer. Neat. General livestock and grain. That's where you get it. And what are these? I don't know what these metal pieces are. There's some kind of masher. What does that say? Geneva hand fluter. It's a hand fluter, Heather. There you go. Like everybody of course, I knows exactly what a hand what fluter was. is. It fluted this cardboard. It sure did. It's exactly what it did. It's a yep. cardboard fluter. All right. Reversible steel spindle. Yep. This is the spindle that um, Sleeping Beauty was not supposed to touch. And then there's a bunch of old razors. Correct. Don't touch it. You could die. Okay. Got it. All right. Look at these Longa Burgers. Look at the lid to that. A little flower on the Longa Burger. Nice. I like it. Just a gazillion Longa Burgers. Look at this one. Little baby one. I think we can just tell them we're going to have a gazillion longer burgers on there. This one's a picnic basket. We're going to try to put the most that we can on the sale or on the uh, online sale. And then whatever we can't, for whatever reason, we will put on Friday's live sale. Recipe. Look card. at this piece. Ooh. It's very intricate. It is. It could be bone. could be I ivory. Know. That's cool. All right, we've got this brass bowl. Everybody needs a brass bowl. And I think this might be full of paperweights. This yellow Ooh. wallet here. Look at that there. Unicorn. Oh, that's cool. And then I think we've got... What's the sticker say? Solid brass made in Taiwan. 1981. All right, you saw this at the beginning. 
Love the metal cat. Little bobblehead cat. Just so agreeable. <laughs> He is yep, so agreeable. Yep, 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 mm -hmm. yep, sure. yep. uh-huh. All right, now we're going to go through, I think these are all paperweights. We have another dolphin. Everybody loves himself a dolphin paperweight. You want to unwrap one? Yeah. And discover Oop. one? That, I'm breaking the dolphin paperweight. We'll break the dolphin. Oh, no. This is a cool little basket, too, while they're doing that. Longenberger with feet. Here are the paperweights. Neat. Very pretty. Nice. I don't think that's a stand, that's a ring. I know. Um, I think that was put in there to be used as the stand. Oh, look at this cat. We got a cat paper weed. That's a cool cat. It's a cool this design inside. A stand? Yeah, yeah it's just, right there. Sphere. just a sphere there. Oh, that one is too? Yeah. We just found the steam. There we go. Oh, it was just a ring in there. Mm-hmm. Cool butterflies flying around the flowers there. Well, look at that thing. Paperweight slash murder weapon. This one says Random duck. Handmade in Poland, but it's got two sides to it. Handmade in Poland. Huh. Well, it's open there. Yeah. So you could set it this way. Or you could flip it around and set it this way. That's a neat little paperweight. It, what do you put? A, maybe a candle in there? Potentially, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You could just put that on there, then it will move. <laughs> These are neat. I'm going to we yeah. need this for this. Dad does a great job coming up with paperweights. Oh, this is my favorite one right there. But I love blue. Beautiful. This is Heather's color. Is there a wedding color? Yeah, it was. Wedding color, and it was also uh, the... Same color dress I wore on our first formal date. Yeah. We went to... Spring uh, Banquet. Spring Banquet. She wore blue. Made me a pocket square that was blue. Yep. I look like the guy that ate that guy now. Like, I'm twice the size of the guy that you first went More on a love, date baby. with. Really? More love, is that yeah. how it is? Mm -hmm. It's terrifying. I love the paperweights. Good job, Dad. Right. We just have a bunch of really nifty. I'm just going to do a flyby of the longer birds yeah. here. We just have. Ooh, this one actually has a. Neat. Holder Different in. kinds of longer burgers. Yeah, these are super unique. Ooh, I like this one with the. This one says longer burger gumdrop tree trimming. Well, there you go. Well, pink one. This one says Longa Burger, 1996 Dresden Tour Basket Edition. Neat. And we got a bunch of these. Loving it. Some crocheted ones, plaid one. Some big ones in there. Square one. That's got Let's leather handles. That. Yeah. That's gonna be nice. All right, then we've got a necklace holder. Oh, there's a record player. It's like Elvis. Yeah. Does, Does it play work? anything? I thought it did. I thought Dad told me it did. Dad got it to play at one time. Yeah. Is there a button on it or something? Yeah, this one. But it's like not working. Maybe we can put new batteries in it. I'll mess around with but it. But it is see. supposed to be working. Batteries might have died. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah. Batteries might have Is died. it an ornament? Is that what it was? Yeah, I think it's, it's an, ornament. an ornament. So you like hang it. Yeah, I and think you're right. And it's supposed to play an Elvis song because I know Dad got it to play. Cool. All right. This is the neg. Retired huh. handmade in the USA. Huh. What company does it say? Fenton. It's a Fenton egg. Oh, there you go. Yeah, let's leave that in the box. 
All right, then we have all these records. Or, guess, uh, let's see. You pick one, and then Kelly picks one, and we read the title, and okay. you got to tell me what is the song about. This one is called Blues in the Night March from the Warner Brothers film Blues in the Night. Blues in the Night March. I think it's about jazz. Good, good guess. Okay. What's it say, Kelly? Uh, Bob Harvey and his orchestra. She's a personal friend of mine. I bet you they're more than friends. The other side says, wouldn't it be fun? Wouldn't it be fun? Yeah. yeah. See, they're more than friends. Who, yeah. who writes a song about a friend? Nobody writes a song about a friend. No. The other side says, the one who gets you. The one who gets you? All right, this one is uh, a polka. Sparrow polka. Sparrow polka. And then this other side says, green peas. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> It's right, a song well, about green peas, everybody. Is. All right, Kelly, what do you got? This is Frankie Lane, The Girl in the Wood. <laughs> and the other side is <laughs> Wonderful, wasn't it? <laughs> wonderful, wasn't it? Yeah, The Girl in the Wood. Wonderful, the Girl in the wonderful. Wood? What are we doing here? This is Bandera Waltz by Jimmy Wakely and Pot of Gold. Pot of Gold. Pot of Gold. I need to hear that song. Another Frankie Lane, Piece of Puddin'. Piece of Puddin'. Piece of Puddin'. <laughs> And tonight, we're setting the woods on fire. <laughs> <laughs> we got to tell that lady in the woods, get out! We're setting the woods on fire. All right, this one is um, by Frankie Yankovic, not to be referred, not to be confused with Al Yankovic. When you're away, this is, and then, I'm going to get a dummy. <laughs> That's literally what it says, look. I'm going to get a dummy. I'm going to get a dummy. Yep, that's, that's right you are. This is also Frankie Yankovich. When banana skins are falling, I'll come sliding back to you. <laughs> yes! I need to hear that. Why this isn't song. that a hit? I'll the tell you. This side is Tick Tock Polka. Tick Tock Polka. Let me see. This one is Hildegard Waltz and By the Windmill. By the Windmill? The windmill. We have a windmill in our backyard. We do. Of, kind of. Uh, Les Paul. I wish I had never seen sunshine. That's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> and Josephine is on the other Josephine. side. Josephine. Playtime polka. And honey, why can't you be sweet to me? That's what it says. Amen. Amen. Preach. There's a pickup line for uh -oh. like cheese balls. All right. All right. Let's hear it? it. Who do you know in heaven that made you the angel you are? Oh, that's good. And 24 hours of sunshine. Boom. There you go. Because it's talking about heaven. Hours that seven. box is cool, too. Check out the box. It's like um, a wooden crate. Yeah. And somebody's going to Somebody's going to want the box more than uh, the records, probably. Yeah. Anything else in this thing? No. I, I feel like the, the, the records are amazing. I think there's some old uh, magazines and stuff yeah. in here. Two cents. Look at that. <gasps> Two, Two cents. cents. Woman's Day magazine. I need to know what I need what, to wait, know. Wait, wait, wait. What year is it? 1943. We're gonna find out what we need to know. Oh okay, wait, wait, wait. First, first, hold on. Just turn to a page, and that's your page. What is it telling you? <laughs> Bad news for you. What's the page telling me? Are you having trouble with your boy? <laughs> Are you having trouble with your boy? I'm not your boy. I'm no, your, I'm your man. My boy is in college. Yeah, there you go. Very no good. No trouble at all. No trouble no at all. No trouble at all. All right, now for Kelly. What okay, is she going to find? pick one. I want to learn how to put a sparkle in my February parties. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I expect a sparkle in all February parties from here on out. Beautiful. You can betcha. One week. <laughs> this is Life magazine. Life. And that's uh, 1963, 20 cents. Great princes of the church among them. The next pope, 1963. Woman's Day. Look at that kid's face. Another two cents. Two cent magazine. It's <laughs> so amazing. How All were right. they able to print Alex, it? The Great Conqueror. Myths, Gods, and Heroes. These are all 1963. Here's another Woman's Day one. That's a 10 cent. 10 cent. Ooh. They're moving, moving up. up. May, 10 cent. Young Homemakers issue. Beautiful. Woman's Day. There's Elvis. So we'll probably put some of these on there. Oh, yeah. I'll probably lot them up. Yeah, those are fun. We'll make several a lot lots of, them, of those. A lot of people use them, and they frame a lot of the artwork yep. in them. Yep. So this is... Old jars. 
That's Old Judge Coffee. Old Judge, that goes all the way back to the Civil War. Old okay. Judge Coffee. There's two of them in So here. I think Old Judge was a cook in the Civil War. Manhattan Coffee. They have the nice... Um, sometimes you can find the jars, but you don't find the labels on them. So that's nice. Four napkins. Fabric napkins. Satin napkins. Cookbook. 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 Dad always grabs cookbooks. All right, this entire box is full of Longa Burgers. Here. Look. Look at Look at that. It's like a Longa Burger hand. Dad handbag. bought an entire box of Longa Burger baskets. Just, it's and some of them were really body. neat. That's a cool looking bag. I feel like I should just go to Six Flags wearing this bag. <laughs> Why Six Flags? Because you wear a crossbody bag when you go traveling and walking a lot. Okay. I don't know why Six Flags popped in my head. But we've been did. to Six Flags like Listen. once in our entire married yes, life, and you picked Six too Flags. Much and we have better things to do. We're okay. always at a sporting event. This one is True. like zippered clothes. Look. Nice. We have this one, it has a little liner in it. Digging it. This one's like an American flag. This has two in it. It's like an Americana one. Look stuff. at that. America. There's more America. 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 <gasps> More America. Cherries. America. America cherries. These are really fun. Beautiful. It's all sorts of long burgers. Oh my goodness. Longer burger, longer burger, longer burger. Go to Hooked on Pickin' to the auction section. You can actually bid right now because you'll be able to find this. And we will continue to be listing these things as the night goes on. So if you don't see your... Yep, it'll probably take item. me until 9 o'clock, but we'll see. Yep, but you'll be able to bid on everything, and um, it will close at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time, so make sure you get your bids in. It'll have a countdown on there so that you'll be able to know when everything is And it's done. supposed to be automated now, we think? Yes, so you should. As soon as you win the bid, you will get an email saying that you won the bid, and you do have to pay it. Um, just FYI, each individual item will be paid shipping separately, so I don't think we're going to combine shipping this go-round, correct? To make it a lot easier. We're trying, so, we're trying to figure it we're out. We're trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure out. If that's too much of a hardship, let us know. Yeah. Um, and then just consider you might have to pay maybe, you know, four to eight dollars in shipping for each yeah. item. So just take that into consideration when bidding. So that'll help. All yeah, right. that would help. That yeah. would really help if they yeah. did that. Yeah. yeah. So just consider four to eight dollars on each item because they'll ship individually probably. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.